Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In a previous video, I had talked about how to find Mikola, and I w and once you have access to this area by going through that video, which you should be able to find right here, uh, should be up in the tag. Um, there is a lot in this area that is very valuable. Today, I'm going to be uh, not talking about what is in the wilds area. Um, as that there's a lot over there and, uh, and you are more likely to I would argue you're more likely to die over there than you are over here. The prerequisite for this video is having the Dynasty Mausoleum entrance site of grace and being able to get there using the Nightblood's Talisman. As you can see over here there is a bunch of people uh, milling about. If you are a new player, uh, be very wary and keep your uh, as many Crimson Flasks as you can. All of them will run at you randomly and explode. As you can see, that mist that they do will cause your blood loss meter to rise up and hit. The first thing I want to note here is that there is a little crown person over here. When you pillage his remains, you will, it will give you a new one's ruin. These new men's ruins are very expensive. If you are willing to hold out and jump around uh, a little further up, there is another corpse that will give you a gold seed, but you miss out on the ruin. You actually don't necessarily have to fight this big blob, even though it will deal you some damage. All you have to do is run up around it, jump over that headstone, and you have effectively avoided it. Now, alternatively, like I said, if you want to come over here, past these things past here, and grab from this course, you'll get a stone sword key. Really, those, especially early, especially when on your first playthrough, when you're not drowning in these, those can be very valuable. Now, the next thing you're going to note here is, is that past here, there will be another corpse. This corpse over here is going to have more blood rose. Blood rose is used primarily for the crafting of blood-related items and enemies. And I'm pretty sure there's like crafting books and stuff here, but I've already collected all that, so I don't I'll do it off the top of my head. Remember, you're going to need light in this area, so if you have a near lantern, use it. If you don't have that, use a torch. If you don't have a torch, you should go 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 get one of those too. I have another video talking about it uh, in the works. When you enter this area, you are going to notice that you have access to your spirit summits. Do not be afraid to use your spirit summons. They will, they, plenty of players will say, oh, thought, do the bosses no summon? When you are exploring and things are rough, use your spirit summons, use whatever you can to stay alive and enjoy yourself. If you genuinely don't want to use spirit summons, be my guest. I'm not going to subject myself to that negativity. I don't want to have fun. A sanguine noble will spawn up here. You're going to first want to kill them. Two will spawn, and they will be an issue for you longer term. But once you kill this, you will then have access to a oh, captured shit. merchant. This merchant drops some pretty valuable stuff, including ruin arts, stone sword keys, lost ashes of war to duplicate your ashes, staunching bolstices. You want as many of these as you can get, there's also Festering Bloody Fingers, and you can buy an unlimited amount of Blood Roses from this merchant. Oh, no, I must have, I'm afraid of... Unless you, if you have no soul, you can kill this merchant and get its ball bear. After leaving here, another noble will spawn. Two, yes, that many, we are not having a good time. This is a terrible place filled with sadness and blood loss. And we continue moving forward. In a previous video, I picked up the ruin that you see there. And as we continue down the hall, these dark halls, another sanguine noble will spawn behind you. And frankly, you can avoid them by running. But since we are exploring, you're going to want to make sure you actually kill them. Because it's rather cumbersome to deal with. And I believe one more will spawn as well. If I'm... Unless I'm completely incorrect. Alright, I was completely incorrect. Now, here's the important bit. And then pod people will miss. Down here, there is a ton of enemies. This is another reason to get a spirit summon. 
they will help you by clearing up a lot of this chaff. And when they and when they die, they explode into a fine red face. And these are and remember, these enemies are slow. They are non, you know, script, but they have a grab that will eat a sh shit ton of your health. Even at my level, will eat a shit ton of health and will also deal bloodlust to you at the same time. Not fun. Why are we dealing with all of these things? Well, you have your golden centipedes, which are generally pretty good resources as far as um, actual crafting materials is concerned. But the big thing you're going to want is this, to pick up a great ghost glove wart. These great ghost glove warts are super important. They will allow you to level up your renowned ashes, things like your mimic tears, your uh, black monk aeons, your uh, uh, your your um, black flame monk uh, amon, your uh, black knife tishes. The the named ashes of wars that are very powerful, very valuable. But once you get you, that's basically everything of importance that's in here. The next thing you're going to do is if you have done. White Mask Fair's quest line, as outlined in a previous video, one of the you can then subsequently invade him here. The let's uh, invade, and he will be he will be a salty bitch this entire time. This is to, this is very much a vindication for him being a fuckhead and allegedly allegedly being the person who actually killed your mate. You seek violence, heedless of my warning, though you have been raised to a knight of the dynasty. I... Why must I be disgraced by this low boy? Cathartic, no? The last thing that you're going to want to focus on, aside from getting that pretty cool um, club, which does inflict blood loss and has a fairly unique ash and has an interesting ash war choice although not my favorite is we are going to have to deal with this crowd so we're just going to clean up up. And over in uh, damn AoEs. Anyhow. And lastly, we're going to have over here this. And this chest is, if I remember correctly, a ancient somber, ancient somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Ancient somber dragon smithing stones, very important. Again, they are being able to be used to level up your special weapons. Something definitely to consider. Normally, this lever is all the way down. Uh, I have already used it once, just to go up there and kill Mo for the How to Find a Mikula video, which you probably should have watched at, the, already at this point, but this is just going into detail um, what what goodies are in um, Mogwin Dynasty uh, Mausoleum. From here, if I remember correctly, I don't believe that there is anything else, but it has been a very long time since I went walked around the back of Mikula's uh, cocoon. And uh, we'll just real quickly run up here, down here, back up here. Like I like I thought, absolutely nothing. So that is all of the items that you the the things worth grabbing while you are here in the beautiful uh 
Mugwin Dynasty Mausoleum. It is hell. Uh, definitely worth picking up. These, this is, these are uh, if you are running good on ruins and so and so keys and, and blood roses in that mode, then you can completely bypass this. Then if you were, if you are a late game player, I would say the only things you really need to pick up every time you come through here are the great grave glove warts and the uh, uh, somber smithing stone in the chest. Other than that. You can ignore Vary, you can just come kill Moog and call it a day. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to support, if you like this video and found it useful and want to support me, please consider uh, donating uh, as little as a dollar a month at himedia.gg slash tip. A dollar a month is a boom to my mental health and also gives you access to uh, early access videos, exclusive videos, and more perks by way of our Discord, because that's how all, uh, su all supporter donations, subscriptions are serviced. But, it is a boon to my mental health, and I am very poor. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you, your time, and your viewership, and I'll see you all later in the later.